guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda Rose. And in today's video, I am going to be sharing you guys the new Revlon and Wonder Woman 1984 collection. I just got it in the mail the other day. It was like right after I had put up my Sophia Carson and Revlon collection. And I was really excited because I had been looking forward to the Wonder Woman collection. I just had seen everything that was in it and thought that it was super interesting and fun. But before we do get started, please subscribe to my channel for makeup and lifestyle. I'll put my socials here. I do have an Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Also, don't forget to click the post notification bell just to be notified when I do upload a new video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So this is what the bag looks like. It is super cute. It looks like an oil slick kind of a vibe the back it's just really simple before we do get started with the face i just want to show you a couple of other miscellaneous accessories that they did have in the pure package this is a cute revlon mirror and this does open up very easily and it's got a regular mirror and then it's got a magnetized side so this would be really cute for my bag. I also got the Revlon Red nail polish that I do have on my nails. The nail polish compared to, to the container right here, it does match really well. So there is that. I'm going to quickly put on my base. I'm gonna put on my primer foundation. I'm gonna put my brows on and then we'll go ahead and get into the products that I did get. All right guys, so I have got my brows done, my face done. So now we're going to get into the eyes. I have several products for the eyes, but like I said, I'm just going to go as I am doing my makeup. So the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is the Wonder Woman 84 face and eye palette. There are 10 bold shades with saturated pigments and mattes, metallics, and pearls. This retails for $14.99 on the Revlon website. So I'll go ahead and live swatch the quad with the purple and blue. So like always, swatches are always different from how they perform on the eyes. So this is the first quad. I'll go ahead and do the other one. Ooh, these swatches suck. I know, I'm sorry. So this shade right here, yes, it's very similar to the Ashley Graham one, but the Ashley Graham one is kind of like a topper and this one has more pigment to it and swatched way better than the other one. Okay, so for the highlighter shades, that top one is so smooth. Next, we've got the Transforming Effects Eye Powders. This is a dual-ended design. has two iridescent silky soft powders filled with glistening pigments, and this retails for $9.99. This one seems really interesting. This one is the Colorstay Glaze Sticks Eyeshadow. This is a high glide shadow stick that provides one swipe, high impact color that leaves lid sparkling and shining all day long. This retails for $7.99. Oh my God, I did not realize. This is like, it looks like it could be because of the packaging. It looks like a teal color, but it is not. This is like, it looks navy and it looks emerald, but in person it looks navy. That is so pretty. We're gonna go in with the eyeshadow palette. I am very scared because I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do, but I do wanna do something that is going to be a little different, so please bear with me. I am gonna go in with this color right here. I'm going to go in as a transition shade. And I'm gonna messily just put this around. It's not gonna be like, it just doesn't need to be perfect right now. And I will wing it out here in a second. Now I'm gonna take my Morphe M433 brush. I'm gonna grab the same shade and I'm going to place this a little bit more concentrated. I think I've said this before in other videos, but Revlon has really stepped up their game with eyeshadows. They blend out super easy and they are pigmented when you need them to be. So the next shade I'm gonna go in with is this copper shade here, just all over the lid. And yeah, this does nicely on its own. Although if you do want to use setting spray, you can use setting spray, which is what I'm going to try to do right now. I'm going to use my Morphe setting spray. Place this down. So now 
I'm going to take a smaller brush. This whole look probably won't even match, but that's totally fine. I'm gonna go in with this dark brown shade and I'm gonna put it on the outer corner to give it a little bit more depth. I feel like I've done this type of look many of times with my Revlon palettes. I really should have done this color first because this is not blending out very well for me. I always have issues with brown. I always do. It always looks super patchy. So frustrating. I'm gonna go in with a larger brush. Let's see if this works. If I just pack it on. Yeah, it works much better with a larger brush if you want to get that outer corner to be pigmented, you're gonna have to use a larger brush to cover up more of a surface area. I think that's what I had to do last time. I'm gonna use a concealer and make like an eyeliner. I'm gonna go in with my favorite brush. This is the Morphe M508 brush. This is really good for precise detailing. I'm gonna do all three colors. I'm gonna do pink, purple, and then I'm gonna do this blue shade as my eyeliners. I'm gonna go in with this shade here as my brow bone highlight. Now that we're done with this eye, I'm gonna go in with this eye off camera and then we'll be back to try out some other products. All right guys, so I am coming back on here to let you know that I am wiping this off and I'm just going to do the eyeliner part. So when I come back, it's just gonna be the eyeliner. So I'll be back in just a second. All right guys, so the eyes are done. I had to go in with something a little different because that last eye look was just, it just wasn't working. So I had to wipe it off and redo the eyes. Okay, so the next product that we have here is the eyeliner. This is an ultra black liquid liner. It glides on evenly and has a glossy high shine finish. Because I already have eyeliner on my eyes right now, I'm not going to use this. And I personally don't like high shine glossy eyeliners. Now all I have to do, I literally have like a few other items. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off the face and then we'll get into the other products. The next thing I'm really excited to try because I've never tried anything like this before. This guy right here, it is the Glow Pot Jelly-like Texture it Glides onto Your Skin for a Buildable Champagne Gleam Finish. This retails for $11.99. I'm gonna dab this on. So this is supposed to give you just that glow, just like that natural glowy look. Maybe even a wet. Look, you can see it on camera for sure that it's definitely that wet look. I'm gonna apply a little bit more just to see if I can build it. So far, it looks like you can't really build it. So just with the first layer that you put on, that's good enough. So it is definitely sticky. So if you are going to wear this, you need to wear your hair back. I would use this with no makeup if you want that nice natural glow. I would definitely just go in. I mean, I don't know if I would put this over makeup. I'm going to check to see if this has moved any of my foundation or anything. So far, it looks like it has not moved any of my foundation, which is surprising. That's nice. I'm gonna go in with this palette here and I'm gonna go in with this as my highlight shade, just in a couple of areas that I would usually highlight. I'm gonna go back in on the nose. 
open on my chin. Next, we've got the Warrior Glitter Lip Color. This is a vibrant liquid lipstick that transforms from matte to a multi-dimensional glitter finish with the press of the lips. What? Wow, this shade is so pretty. I was not expecting this pretty of a shade. Like when I looked at this, I was like, wow, this is just gonna be like a red with a pink glitter gloss. I'm just waiting for it to dry down because it says here that it is a matte liquid lipstick, but when you press your lips together, it shows off the glitter that is in this tube. Whoa, did you guys see that? Let me get up a little closer. So there is an area like right up here that didn't do it, so. That is so cool. So you guys can see that there is glitter. Next, I have the Revlon lipsticks. Now, these are the Super Lustrous lipsticks. This is a high impact color lipstick with a moisturizing set and finish. These retail for $8.49. Wow, this is pretty. This shade is actually really pretty. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Max Rebel, except Max Rebel has more of like a pinky tone to it. This is more of a purple. But wow. So, I just put on Justice for All, and this pink is gorgeous it is pigmented it is not streaky it went on super smooth it feels so moisturizing and i love the color i have not worn a pink lipstick like this in such a long time Now let's go ahead and get into the products that we tried out from the collection. I love the mirror. It's definitely great for travel. You can put this in your handbag. You can put this in your crossbody, diaper bag, pocket, whatever have you. This is definitely nice to have. Nail polish, I really do love. I don't own like a regular red nail polish like this. I do have gel. So this is actually really nice to have. The color glaze skin. It's the Silky Shimmer Eyeshadow. Even though this does look teal, it is a blue glitter and it is gorgeous. Like I cannot wait to try this with the blue eyeshadow in the palette. And then we've got the Transforming FX Eye Powders. This, I feel like it's a little gimmicky because when I was applying it onto my hand, I was like, well, wait, where's the color? Like, how is it gonna come out? And I think you have to kind of like bounce it up and down to get it out. But even then it's like, I think it's kind of like, I think Maybelline just came out with something like this. So, I will try it out, but I just don't know how well this is going to work out. The um, liquid eyeliner that I did not try, this is a glossy formula. I don't like shiny or glossy formulas. It's just not my thing. I love matte eyeliner. It's just, it is, it just is what it is. I love matte eyeliner. I love the look of it. It's very crisp. It's clean and glossy is just, I mean, I'm sure if I were to wear this with like an all matte look and then have this be the focal point of it, that would be really cool. But glossy eyeliners just aren't for me. It does have a felt tip, so it is a lot easier to work with for beginners. We have the face and eye palette. I really liked this palette. I enjoyed it a lot. It is very similar to the Tropical Vibes palette. All the eyeshadows performed pretty much the same as this one right here. So with all the shadows in here, all of them were super pigmented and they packed on really well. This color blended out really well. This one, I've always said that I have issues with browns. Browns are really hard for me to blend out, so you have to pack it on and then blend it out with a larger blending brush. But all the other colors, like the shimmer shades that are in here, worked really well. You can use your finger or you can use a brush with a setting spray to intensify the color. I thought that the blue, it was gonna have a little bit more of a punch to it. It's a little bit more muted even when packing it on. So if you do like a navy color that is not super glittery and that is a little bit more muted, then this blue is going to be for you. But other than that, I really enjoyed this palette and I love the pop of colors that it has in here. The glow pot. I really did enjoy this glow pot. It feels a little bit like Vaseline, but not thick, I guess you can say. But the color is, I mean, it really doesn't matter about the color. 
it is going to show up glossy and I look, I look like I'm glowing right now. I am glowing and it is really pretty. The one thing that I appreciate about this product here is that when you do apply it over powder and bronzer and foundation, it doesn't lift up any of the product that is on your face. But the liquid lipstick, the color is absolutely gorgeous. I loved this deep red. The applicator was nice, but I wish it was a little bit more pointy so that it was easier for me to use it as a guide for like my liner. And then we have the cream lipsticks. I surprisingly really love these. The colors are super pigmented. They weren't streaky. They are super moisturizing. As I can see right now, color is not bleeding. I have a lot of dry spots on my lips right now. It's not catching on to any of the dry spots. It's not accentuating any of them. And you know how sometimes when you do wear a cream lipstick that does have a lot of pigment to it, it settles in your lines. It's not settling into any of the lines that I have on my lips. And it's just, it's gorgeous. It. All right, guys, so that is it for me. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy my video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you guys do want to see any more looks with the palette or any of the lipsticks or the little eyeshadow sticks, just let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.